Hey YouTube, iPhone Ty here, and today I want to do a quick video for you guys to show you how to program your GPP SIM to be used for other iPhone 4S carriers. For example, I purchased the Verizon one, but I have a Sprint iPhone 4S. Now it does come pre-programmed for Verizon, however, there is a way that you can go ahead and change that. And the way that you do that, it comes with a blank SIM card. Um, in the contents, let me go ahead and show you. I've got it in here. So it comes with this blank white SIM card. Uh, this is your programming SIM. So what you're going to do is take your GPP SIM, line it up on the custom SIM tray, and then we're going to put our blank SIM card or a resetting SIM card onto that, and we'll insert that combination into the device. Um, now what we have to do is just wait. It will go ahead and recognize, start searching, and after just a few seconds, it'll kick up a menu that gives us an option to change our carrier. Um, now even though these are optimized for CDMA, they can be used for GSM carriers as well. If you're looking to unlock AT&T or other carriers overseas, um, you can use it for any CDMA or GSM carrier. And uh, again, this is how you program it to be used with uh, different ones okay so now we need to choose our original carrier again it's sprint so we'll go ahead and select sprint <clears throat> and then we'll click OK now that we have done that we can pop out the programming sim card we'll take that out and we're going to replace this with t-mobile sim card now in my case I'm using t-mobile um, you don't have to use t-mobile if you want to use any other GSM network the way to know if it's GSM network is if it actually uses a SIM card to run. Um, so like AT&T, T-Mobile, um, Simple Mobile, H2O, any of those, they're GSM. Um, and then if you are wanting to unlock your device, or excuse me, if your device is, is a carrier that is not in that SIM list, you can find your carrier here. They send you this card, it's your activation card on the back you can actually manually enter it in from the program you choose other carrier and then you manually put in your IMSI number uh, but we'll give this just a moment here to connect it usually takes about one to three minutes but these tend to connect fairly quickly um, if you remember with the rsim 7s or if you're familiar with those should switch over here in just a second it usually goes to no service and then switches over but with the rsim 7s the way that you program those is actually by going into settings and then scrolling to phone and then you'd see sim applications right down here at the bottom but the uh, gpp sims don't work the same so that's how you do it so there we go we have t-mobile service now um if you're looking to unlock your phone or you haven't unlocked it yet, uh, I do have, I'll put a uh, link down in the description for the actual video. This is actually just to show you how to program it for different phones if uh, you choose to do so. But anyways guys, I hope that helps you out. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the description or shoot me an email. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much guys. Have a great day.